Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online and welcome back to CC, the test server for EVE Online where CCP is planning the next mass test, which is all about smart bombs and the new super carrier mechanic. That's mainly what's going to be interesting. Um, perhaps we will start with the first few steps in, in a few minutes. Now, uh, I must warn you, never used it, never seen it in action. And this is basically the first time that a reasonable amount of people, I think, will be trying this new uh, clone mapper thing. Uh, so this could all go horribly wrong or it could work as intended. As far as I understand it, um, you have a, a booster type called the Nano Heuristic Clone Mapper. And when that's active, you get the active booster here. If you are then potted and there's a super carrier in system that has uh, the new module or service, whatever it is, active uh, that uh, that can can basically snag your clone, you're, you'll have the option of uh, respawning, recloning in the super carrier. And then if that one has ships available, you can just grab it and go back into the fight. This is the reason why I'm actually flying a little untanked Tristan. This is what was asked for over here. So we will be trying to do the next steps um, consume the uh, mapper uh, fleet w will jump to xbv fleet x as well kill each other and uh, do not reship right away when ordered by fc reship keep on fighting being killed and fetching new ships while ccp cycles through different super carrier combinations after that we'll have a smart bomb event and then we'll have a free for all at the end as well um let's see now please make sure that you have a mapper either consumed or in your cargo hold we're forming up in FD at the XBV gate. That's a classic for mass tests. If anyone has ever joined one, they know that. And uh, for now, this one currently has a timer of 12 hours. At first I thought it was 12 minutes, which is why I bought another five just to make sure. But uh, no, it's actually 12 hours. And I do kind of wonder what happens if uh, I'm blown up for the first time. Um, and, uh, and, and then I have to, uh, you know, do I have to use the... the uh, the uh, clone mapper again or um, during these 12 hours can I just take as many clones on one of these uh, super carriers as I want now these super carriers have become pretty damn massive you can see a couple on the field right here they've basically doubled inside I don't really see the uh, the special effects for uh, for the mapper that was sort of announced um, CCP def deadlift is arresting people in the meantime uh, please make sure that you're in sub capital if you're currently in a capital or larger then please switch to something smaller we're still forming over here and there's actually quite a few uh, CCPs on uh, on this mass test. So I get master plan with two accounts in the fleet over here. Habakkuk, of course, leading the mass test, uh, as is usually the case. Quite a few ISDs as well. I'm I'm really curious. We'll see. I think this is going to be the first real test for this mechanic, and uh, we'll see if it works. If it's intuitive as well, I think being a care bear myself, a, a non nosic player, uh, trying to use this mechanic for the first time, seeing what happens, um, you know might give them some information on on just um, you know how easy it is and intuitive it is to uh, to jump in on this please make sure that you are in a sub capital yeah if you're not in a fleet yet obviously you want to be in a fleet uh, for uh, for this as well I think that um, you can only uh, pick up one of these uh, possibilities if you're in the same fleet as the super carrier pilot that activates that i'm gonna assume it's a module i'm really not sure uh, for this test uh, ccp and the isds will be running all of these supers so we get ccp deadlift here we get ccp master plan here who else is here ccp trash mob as well um, and isds i've seen them actually pass into xbv in a couple of these supers as well just to be ready um, this must test you really need to be in a fleet as is the feature only works on fleet members exactly as i was saying we are at 43 in uh, fleet w with 123 in local so in all likeliness i'll get to use and test the uh, the clone remapper very quickly and i'm just i'm at the ready uh, performance wise this is working okay and there's supposed to be some sort of a smart bomb event as well not sure what that's all about oh and i think he was arresting people um of course this be deadlift coming in in his police nicks that actually looks i mean it looks really really good it's pretty damn nice and over here we have um 
what's it called the uh, hell for uh, for the minmator and then we get some kaldari ones here as well pretty cool with the wyvern so they are ready some people are still in pretty big ships we get some leshaks on the field actually a decent amount of leshaks on the field perhaps they'll try to sabotage the test a little bit by going after some of these supers but honestly i would say that's a bit of a part of the test right get these uh, get maybe one super under pressure see what happens uh, perhaps with uh, with the new module or the new um the new feature for these super carriers it could be worth it to try that as we have someone that comes back in as the lookup table in his vendetta of course we get to try all the supers so that one's on the field as well uh, master plan yep that's all good let's see what's happening we are running a little bit late but this this one feels a little bit special trying something completely new that uh, honestly no one really expected is going to be pretty interesting and this is what it looks like now when a super carrier approaches the gate it, they do look absolutely massive now that's <laughs> very very cool and i haven't seen an amar one actually that's true someone is mentioning the aeon here but um haven't seen them just yet we'll see oh maybe his model that model wasn't ready yet not really sure okay please consume your clone mapper if you have not done yet so right here i've got that active booster nano heuristic clone mapper i actually uh, got the link through the message of the day when i was still in the station so that should be fine and it's just uh, same as always you just right click on that and you know if you don't have it active it just gives you the consume option and then you get that active booster timer up on the top left so i'm good to go local almost 130 all right honestly maybe we don't want too many people uh, coming in right off the bat so and another super carrier comes in Booster will stay active for the whole tests, uh, even if you are potted. Okay, I was kind of worried about that. And it is possible, although not very likely, I would say, uh, that this will change uh, when it hits uh, TQ. Perhaps the timing, of course, right? 12 hours. Maybe that it's going to be a little bit less than that. But maybe they're expecting this to be used mostly in tie-dye battles. And so making it uh, basically a one-off for uh, one battle and then you can just keep going as long as uh, the supers have uh, ships that could be interesting uh, this booster will stay up and the uh, masters will be potted a lot so let's see if it works normally your clone should be transferred to the next super carrier in your fleet hmm so it may just depend on your location within the li fleet lists i'm with an m so i'm pretty low uh, let's see oh no it, it does go i wonder how that's gonna work because the closest one would would be uh, isd three wizards and then up here the first one to encounter could then be maybe i see storm noodle because he's fc not sure not sure it's gonna be interesting to see uh, how that works to the next super carrier in your fleet all right and uh, from what i've been told all these supers are carrying a lot a lot of tech one uh frigates so you can just you know keep going get back out there get potted again and try it again if something goes wrong and you end up in your clone station please mention it in mass questions and then use the move me to get back to fd and then back to the fight so they do want to keep us in here which was kind of my worry my my worry um here is that um yeah what happens if if it goes wrong all of a sudden uh, someone in fact in local also mentioned that if you have to use the move me command there's normally the pvp timer that keeps you from actually using that one uh, so we'll we'll see we'll give it a go it's it's definitely one where uh, lots of unknown factors could play havoc with these tests but if it works it could be cool and then of course you know server performance with something completely new like this let's see what this is all about so if i end up basically in my station which would be a uh, home station which would be apparently somewhere way out away from here uh, then i get a 
call for help probably in the mass questions. For the first time, please just wait until we give the command to reship. Afterwards, then please board a ship for the supercarrier to which you were cloned to. Okay. So basically, they first want to see lots of people that have recloned but haven't reshipped just yet. That's fine. But how does that work, right? That's the real question. I get potted, what's gonna happen? Do I get like a pop-up message? Can I click immediately OK and then am I inside a super carrier? What will that look like? I have no idea. How do I get the option to reship? Is that gonna be like a right click on the super carrier? Hmm, now Fleet W, jump to XBV. Well, we'll know in just a moment normally, because <laughs> I'm in a tiny little Tristan that should get blapped pretty quickly. Um, not even sure if I'll use the shield booster here. The idea is to test everything and then we get a phoenix. We have... Oh, that must be within my fleet. Yeah, ISD3 wizard in the Vendetta. And then we get some more supers on there as well. And then fleet X will come in next. We'll start our brawl. I'll maybe start orbiting or something. FD, let's orbit. So that I'm at least moving a little bit as we'll get started. And there's already a hawk that we could go after. A neutral hawk, he's not in our fleet. But he's on the gate, I think he'll be going back. And ooh, a revenant, that's pretty cool as well. I wonder if they made that one bigger. Click W, we are ready. I am in the right system, yes, XBV, yes I am. The Hawk is still here, but well, this is the first step, so let's definitely not take any initiatives here. We're gonna wait for CCP to tell us exactly what to do before we do it. And so you can see some sm they really do look very small now. So that's a catalyst destroyer that was flying underneath that Nyx. Fleet X will be jumping in in just a moment. Uh, but this does, let's maybe try to, to get close towards that, um, that hell from CCP master plan. So here I am and now just look at me going underneath that super carrier. And then if you use that uh, zooming feature, I mean, it just looks really, really big. It's pretty cool. All right, uh, a Tristan, for instance, let's, he could be a good target. And I think my guns can do well at 15. So I'm just gonna lazily set an orbit at 15 around that Tristan and then we wait for the order before we fire of course so this is starting to fill up local is above 100 or I maybe let's let's boost someone is starting early or is it like a smart bomb I'm already <laughs> pointed and I'm already this I've that's it's fine honestly just give me that test early on that's all fine um i didn't see any fight commands but we get some smart bombs going and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to just slowly approach the gate and then or you no know, actually even better i'm gonna approach that smart bomber that Balgorn. let's press approach so that uh, i'll definitely be taken out and the mapper is on, so we should be good. As we've got, the fight has definitely started. Must have missed it. Is something? Nope. He's, you see, he's asking for one moment, but people just can't hold it in here. <laughs> Since we were promised explosions, that's exactly what we are getting. Now, I'm of course very slow. Both fleets start to kill each other and the pots fight. Okay. So there it goes, we get some smart bombs on grids. That's a lovely catalyst explosion spinning out. There she blows. And is there the closest battleship? Oof, man, 30 plus kilometers. 
30 kilometers. The Macarial. Let's see if I can see him. Is he smart bombing? No, this guy is smart bombing. Anyone? Anyone that's gonna pot me? As expected, a little bit chaotic. And that's still not any beams towards me. I'm still trying to fly. He's at 52. That's quite far. Please do not reship yet. Does he have the material smart bombs? I'm not seeing them, unfortunately. That one's still, and that's still the one that I'm heading towards, so that's fine. Get a little bit closer, 23. Okay, we're, we're starting to get closer. We will be potted eventually, even if I have to do it myself. Ooh, and that is something that I could maybe try at the end of the test. I don't want to do that right now, but of course I could have uh, self-destructed to try and, um, and get that going. So he's taking stuff out. For sure, 19. And some people are self-destructing, so that part of the test is being covered. And I kind of want to go the natural way. No, 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 don't pull away from me. Take me out. And, ooh, there it is. There it's active. That's cool. Let's go take a quick look at that vendetta while I should slowly be edging back towards my death. And so now with this, that holographic yellow graphic that's active here that should be indicating that it, it is in that mode where it's actually trying to um, get it uh, replenish its fleet every time stop pulling away from me there finally okay capsule bridge detected clone mapper activating and I am in another pot Okay, and I'm right next to the Vendetta from Tree Wizard, who is second in command in the fleet. Alright. And then I can right click on that one. Uh, open fleet hangar. Please do not reship yet. Uh, that's more clone mappers. Ship maintenance bay. There we go. There we go. Alright. Please reship now. Get a new ship from the super carrier. Mob frigate. Let's uh, board ship from the bay. Let's see what happens. There we go. And immediately <laughs> we are being hit quite heavily. But that's okay. And there it is. With the effect. Didn't pay too close attention to that. But here we go. And is there anything that, that I could still try? Well, I can, I can try, you know, dying again. <laughs> oh, we're, we're still not. All right. This is, of course, the idea behind this test. Normally, right, try to make your way out and um, get back into the fight. Be useful. Uh, who is close and who is smart bombing? Gonna look for a battleship again. So there's a paladin at six. I'm gonna assume that he's actually smart bombing. I hope. Next one, uh, the Macarial smart bombs. Feel free to smart bomb. So this is already here. Active booster is still up. So that's very good. And please guys, pop me again. <laughs> Would be great. Fight again. Well. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go. Oh, there, there's a smart bomber. Let's go into the Megatron. And so now... I can, I can just get right back into a ship if I want to, of course. He's at 12, so we should get in range decently quickly. Unless he pulls away from me. Just like the previous guy did. And there's... Ah, that does look good. Explosions right on top of the super carrier. And you can immediately see that spawn camping is something that can happen. Just park a couple of smart bombing ships right on top of that super carrier. If they come out in small ships, then uh, you will take them down pretty easily and now that's now he's just pulling straight away from me god damn it that's not what you were meant to do at least i'm being attacked and blocked okay and here we go 
So that's what this looks like. And this time, where am I? All right. It's a different one. That's interesting. Now I'm on the Revenant from Storm Noodle, who is the FC. I'm going to open the ship maintenance bay. And there's still, look at what's uh, available here. Lots of, of Tristans, of course. I'm going to board the ship from the bay. Look at it from a little bit closer by. And there's the effect. It's basically being, I don't know, uh, transported from the bay around my capsule and we are good to go so let's see if i can help someone because it is a little bit frustrating to have to uh, wait but this is 100 kilometers off all of a sudden that's also quite interesting right i'm not exactly sure what decides which super carrier you are going to have to uh, or, or you're responding in but this one is 100 kilometers out and obviously that's a lot better if you still want to do something for the fight so there's definitely in my opinion some tactical stuff that you can try now i'm going to start approaching these capsules and then the range on these smart bombs can i see that 3000 meter effective range so i just have to oh he's he's actually waiting on the carrier so i'm gonna move to this guy then so that should be in range let's see if i can smart bomb him so that he gets to use can i target it yep so that uh, let's see if it works so there's the smart bombs he's halfway down i'm staying right on top of him my idea here is that i'll actually be helping him with the testing the you were you were supposed to <laughs> oh and now my cap is gone oh because i was still using this one all right um okay well spawn maybe we, he felt like i was like spawn camping or something i'm not really sure uh please keep reshipping fight again all right but if, if he was right next to a super uh then he, he should have just reshipped unless he had problems of course and uh, the damavik is coming after me let's see if i can just approach him come on my cap and and use my smart bombs on him before <laughs> before he comes after that i'm fine if he would send me home let's go or send me back into to another ship getting wrecked very quickly back in the pot let's see if he uh tries to finish me off here and so at first I thought I was in first person view, but that was not the case. And then he just leaves me hanging. That's not fair. But I may just be... Let's let's take a quick look at that. CCB Paradox. Uh, use fitting... Oh! Use fitting service? No. So now I can't... I can't... Um, I see, okay. Now I can't grab one of the ships in uh, his um, in his bay. Those do not seem to be available. Okay, that's interesting. That's definitely interesting. Let's head towards another smart bomber. So that I can keep going. Uh, any battleships nearby? Tengu, he may be... Nope, he's actually just using his missiles up here. I, I'm clearly seeing a big smart bomb going with Tolishak. He's from my own fleet, but that is fine. Let's see what happens. Fleet X, you can also grab ships from my ship. Please keep reshipping. Fight again. Well, I would say the good news, this is working. I'm still in the fight. This is all looking quite okay. Um, working as intended. And uh, there we go. Third one still back in and i'm on is that yet another one i'm still in xb yep and now i'm somewhere completely different oh that's interesting i'm actually on the star very nice i i do think we need to know the rules the exact rules of where we'll be respawning i think for for big fleets and things like that it's important enough that you uh, need to have that so let's open ship maintenance bay again let's board ship from the bay looks like i could uh there's the effect again and i can start flying right away um you can also grab ships from my ship and then you could even like move is he from this is from our fleets 
and then the vendetta is not from our fleet and so we could just keep smart bombing each other let's go towards an enemy tristan so just press approach i'm actually going to target him as well then so we have an eye on what happens he's already in shields oh board ships board ship that that one's abandoned or must be all right interesting okay so now the the fight the tristan smart bombing fight has moved i'm gonna activate my own then let's add it in here <laughs> full smart bomb guys there they go uh overload can i still overload come on more damage is always good i'm gonna try to fly back into that gauntlet doing some damage zero damage to the ISD ship <laughs> smart bombing to the end everyone takes damage and I think getting in my pot here I won't last very long damn it the capacitor is empty keep smart bombing okay that one is still up so we're gonna be heading in there taking damage right away which is good it's what we want there we go capsule breach detected clone mapper is activated and i'm back on the same one this time all right open ship maintenance bay i'm gonna try and take so this one was just taken let's see if i grab another one just poor chips that one was taken as well we've grabbed another one and i think the idea now is to try and send people back so lots of them over there let's see if i can push my way through here one bursts then preheat bomb the hell out of them I actually get a kill report from one of them interesting i'll try to cycle back in and so this is gonna be the smart bombing tristan test interesting Bugs or crashes, then report them. Honestly, so far, this seems to be working as intended. Um, so fully automatic, you can't choose your timing. Your, your pot is just going to go straight back right next to the super carrier um, that is the one selected. Again, I would love to actually learn. Let's try to get back in here again. Try save a little bit of cap and then put everything back on ah, and it is expected that you respawn now at the sun yeah which, which i think is very cool right you could even um try to arrange that away from the fight and then have a specific doctrine ready move back in trying to counter whatever it is that's happening on the field i think it's pretty cool pretty intuitive and uh, it definitely makes the super carriers something quite unique on on the battlefield there does need a little bit of prep but it's it's only that one booster so that should be fine does anything happen here there is no invulnerable timer after cloning yeah exactly um, getting camped getting spawn camped is something that can happen then i don't think they'll put in an invulnerability timer to be honest And there we go we'll be sent back again just one more boost there we go and our smart bomb hit me and we are ready to go back and i am within a thousand maintenance bay board ship as more kill reports keep flooding in and so here i am there's another one that was coming in i'm actually gonna tr well we're just gonna sit here for a moment and then see if we can maybe i'll you know what we gotta try other stuff as well so i'll go into tactical mode now i'm just gonna sit here we'll probably be sent back without too much trouble and i will try to take a look at oh look at that there's actually an effect from the super 
So let's put him at the center and then see if we can spot another one that comes in that boards his ship. There it is. There's the effects. And so here is... That one came in. Alright. So there's the effect here again. And so now he's all the way down here. He's uh, providing that capsule with the ship. And another one over there. Okay. That's the effect there. And now... I'm, I'm still in my Tristan. Okay, I gotta move towards the thick of things. I think. Let's just grab one approach. And so here we go. Two supers that just keep relaunching ships. Oh, maybe... Can I see what the transmat effect is on... Uh, oh, no. That one actually just blew up. What the hell did it blow up from? <laughs> Not sure. I was thinking, does it have like a fiery effect for for the module? Nope. They are actually destroying their own ships. Please keep fighting. Um, I'll actually try to make my way back to the gate then. There we go. And so I couldn't test it uh, in the um, tactical mode. But alright, so far it seems to work. Let's see what's happening at, uh, at the gate. Managed to get off the field as well, which is kind of important. Oh, and I never deployed any drones. Uh, well, this was all about smart bombs anyway. Let's see. Oh, and I couldn't even make the warp because I was running out of cap. All right, let's go for the next one. Warp it in zero. Ah, oh, maybe I should have done that earlier as well. But we did just lose the two supers on the sun. Maybe this is exactly their plan, right? Get us all back together on the gate. Let's see if the fighting is still happening there. Uh, but so far, again, I would say this looks pretty successful uh, haven't paid enough attention yeah here stuff is still happening for sure uh, to the performance of things uh, definitely something worth keeping an eye on next and so here we have the big fight happening let's try to dive in lots of capsules still there's there's the effect so it is the exact same effect on the vendetta you can see here those man and there's several at the same time happening now which is pretty cool as well as we... any more Tristans on the field? There is one down here. He shoots and I'm actually getting attacked as well. So I'm just gonna use my smart bombs while I still can. No! We're down again. So I'll be slow boating towards anyone that can send me home. Uh, those actually take quite a bit of time. Let's Oh, and let's go back into tactical. Try that. Uh, so it's mostly okay getting sent home good 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 thank you thank you perfect here we go so this does the exact same thing but i kind of wonder what happens next all right i did just respawn i'm in tactical aimed at my capsule i'm right around the vendetta again so now let's um this one board 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 ship there we go. There it is. We are back in. Is that an enemy? No, that's one of our Stormbringers. That's actually a pretty good ship for this as well. Because <laughs> uh, you may get a lot of enemy bounces here. And then we get a Flycatcher. Let's just try to hug the Flycatcher. And use our Smart Bombs. Not sure if I'll be fast enough to get within 3. Yep, I'm actually within 3 now. So take my smart bombing damage, should definitely target him, should use my warriors, should keep going here, give the server more stuff to do. There's that flycatcher which I really like personally as well. Um, if only it was able to use different types of um, damage types as well. And now he's actually pulling away from me, that bastard, stopping the smart bombing. Let's see if I can catch back up to him and re-hug should be a shield chip so let's boost once there we go <laughs> and this is in the tactical mode so I'm in range smart bombing let's get back 
on this camera then. And I'm running out of cap. Everybody warp to planet 1 at 0. Alright, planet 1. Warp it in 0. Can I get this Tristan out? As I'm out of cap, so we may be running short again. Well, I'm still being peppered by enemy missiles and fire. Left the drones behind, got out <laughs> like this. <laughs> Poor little Tristans, they are suffering for the greater good here. Including supers, all right. And I just didn't make it again. Planet one, warp it in zero. We're at 50, 117 in local. <laughs> and CCP Aurora has uh, the same problem that I had right in the beginning. There you are uh, in your pot 30 kilometers away from the action. So let's warp in. Now again, just look at how huge these ships are compared to us. That is pretty damn big. Very, very nice. Poor Catalyst also suffering in deep armor. And are we meant to still fight? I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to pull away a little bit from all of this. Although it could be fine, of course. Since we have, there we go, we're actually immediately targeted by someone. Hasn't my Tristan suffered enough? No, it hasn't. He has to explode. And then, yeah, we have to make our way back towards the problems. A couple more supers coming in. I'm, I'm going to get rid of the tactical overlay just to see what it looks like without them. As more ships come in, that's a lot of explosions of course. And there we go. For this mass test actually, the idea is get potted the most. So here I am. Um, all right, so the camera brings me right back to my bot. We do get uh, shield effects from something else, right? I'm not being hit in HP, but uh, do have the full... Oh man, it actually looks pretty cool too. So here's the shield effect around my little pot to enjoy. And where the hell is my super? Hmm, I hope it's this one. Board... Yep. Open ship maintenance bay, board ship from the bay, smart bombs away. So now the idea is to get in here. <laughs> I don't even get to activate my smart bombs. We are just being obliterated now by the AOE fire, which is probably part of what's being tested as well. And now I'm right around the revenant. All right, open ship maintenance bay, board ship from the bay. As we get spammed with that. <laughs> oh, I think it's the supers are smart bombing as well now. So I'm just sent right back again, which is probably the idea. Test this limit, uh, this, uh, this to its limits. Who am I around now? Is it? Nope, that's Habakkuk. So, and that's not from my fleet. That's not from my fleet. Hmm, that's not always super recognizable. Is it this one? Let's take a look. Yeah, I can open this ship maintenance bay and I can board the ship. That is fine. I'll be sent right back, but we keep trying. Um, that's not always easy to find. You could end up like, where, where the hell am I supposed to click to find another one of my ships? Maybe now I'll... So, okay, it's, it is the Revenant. Yeah, so I'll try. What can I do here? Nope, so remove supercarrier from overview. Is there another fleet one here? Yep, there he is. He's not in range. Open ship maintenance bay. Can I... I can do it here now. Let's try this one. Oh, you can just... Alright, don't really understand why I couldn't always do this, but okay. Weapons off, let's see how fast 
they can respond. I'll, I'll be sent home at least a couple more times, I think, before people actually go weapons off. Let's also try to board and then grab a drink, because we've been going for quite a bit. Open ship maintenance bay. Board ship. Weapons off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> This is how you print ISK as well, and uh, it stays open, so board ship from the bay. Oh no, no, look at that, now I am on a different one. I'm actually on the hill, somewhere a little bit away from the fights. With CCP master plan, uh, and again. Oh, maybe it's empty? But uh, now I can't do right click and open the maintenance bay. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Let's get back towards Tree Wizard then. 40 kilometers out, that's kind of bad. Reship in FD and then meet again at the gate in XBV though. So we can do that. I still have that Gila at the ready. Oh man, what a, that, a roller coaster. Honestly, my biggest worry was you get potted and crash or you're somewhere else or you have to click something you can make mistakes no this does feel pretty you know straightforward it does what it's supposed to do i haven't crashed performance wise this looked pretty good to me personally and uh, i got 56 <laughs> notifications <laughs> with deaths and kills that's uh, that's quite a lot but all right so i would say honestly this looks pretty nice. This looks like it could work. So let's reship and then let's uh, try to do the rest. This is a lot of wrecks. <laughs> this is a lot of wrecks around the gates. As more stuff explodes. And so I'm not gonna go too crazy. We've actually been going for almost 45 minutes here. Um, not assembly plant, but it's normally bank deposit. Let's go over there. So it'll be in the little Gila. Uh, or can we still, is there still steps to do? I'm gonna assume that this was the smart bomb event, massive smart bomb event, reship, including capitals, etc. Free for all fight in XBV at the gates. And that's it. So we just have the free-for-all fight left, which can still be interesting. I mean, they did basically uh, create several theaters. Uh, so server-wise, this was not the hardest it's going to get hit when this comes on TQ. As soon as you are uh, at the gate in XBV in a ship, you can start to fight again. All right, let's see what we can spot there. Let's ship into this one. Let's undock. Or maybe one final pot to see. Can I deactivate this? No, can't deactivate the booster. All right. X, 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 X. Let's first do a warp two. This is working, that looks okay. Let's move. Um, as soon as you are at the gate in XBV, all right, so. We actually do have to just jump straight through, get in on the action. Go like that. There is a friendly Nyx on the field still. So I'm going to go after that Damavik. Let's see if I can approach. Oh, I'm still cloaked. Can I get revenge on him? I'll use like kinetic drones or something. If they are even kinetic drones, I just really just quickly put all of this together let's see if we can do some damage there's his shields gone it is normally an armor ship of course Ahaha. revenge you bloody damavik 
for destroying my Tristan so far from the battlefield. Oh, he's wrapping back. Interesting. Keep going, guys. There we go. That's the Damavik gone. And now you can stay here in your pot. <laughs> Wait for someone else to take you down. Can we take this down? And then we actually have a Cerberus potentially to go after as well. Vespa is still going for some reason. Uh, he's actually going after the Cerberus. All right. Let's 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 just do the approach. And let's start firing. He actually has some armor damage. Interesting. As Red Revenge is trying to smart bomb me. As we get some more supers coming in. Cerberus does have pretty strong shields. And he's fighting with... Lieutenant Biscuits in the Mauler. Very nice. And now, performance. We're still at 60 FPS. 72 in local, of course. So, this is not just a massive burst. People will be trickling in here for the fight. Quick look at Mars questions. Anything happening? Ships are used up. That was okay. Kind of weird then that I got that problem so early on as well. Any error message? Alright, let's get back. I haven't seen any error message or anything like that. So now the surplus is coming after me again. I'm running out of charges. We could try to switch to the Jackdaw, although he is at like 30 kilometers. Is he, he's, is he trying to snipe stuff off? He also has some shield damage. Hmm, he's taking more damage all of a sudden. Let's keep going. Catalyst is coming in. Very brave. Once I can get my missiles on there, that should be another big boost. One, two, three, four. In come the missiles. Oh man, he does rep a lot. But he also starts to take some real damage. Good stuff. Keep going, guys. Keep hitting it. Come on. Let's see if. Uh, oh, yeah. It is my turtle, so we're not fast. I can still hit him. He went in armor. There we go. Keep going. Missiles. Hit, hit, hit. Still have a little bit left. Drones are still giving chase. He's wrapping shields again. <laughs> that Serp is holding on very nicely. And I'm actually going to run out of missiles before... He runs out of trouble. Uh, in trouble. In too much trouble. So go, go, go. It does look nice. And I'm half shields already. Impressive. Uh, maybe I should try to switch out drones while we're still close enough. Not sure. We could try our terminals. Let's go. And he actually ripped back all the way. Well, my shields, well, I don't have any repping. We were just passive here. And so we get blown away in a couple of volleys once we got into armor. Very nice, actually. <laughs> Pretty cool fight. Nicely done from Pitbull. And let's see then if I can find a final smart bomber. Uh, thank you for holding the mouse test. So that's it. If you encounter any bugs, okay, and we're probably 11 off from the Vendetta. Let's see if I can open ship maintenance bay. I can. Can I board it from here? I probably have to be closer. Yeah, you have to be within 2,500 meters. So it must have been that I was actually on an empty super. In the beginning of the tests. But I can just go over there, get in range, as people are still, yeah, indeed, look at that, that's the effect, it is pretty unique, and functional, and 
it still obeys the laws of the sandbox of course all of these ships have to be prepared and have to be present within the super carrier for you to be able to use them in this way so let's maybe stop here and then board ship from the bay and there's the effect and i'm in another smart bombing tristan but that's gonna be it for this one guys we've been going for 50 minutes the official part of the test has ended and uh, i'd say it's been pretty damn successful thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time